Damn, it looks so good. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be throwing down some paint on the ZX Canal and making it look spiffy. Let's get to it. Alright guys, the bike's ready to get some paint. I've prepped the swing downs, ready to lay down some good coat of paint. I use Trim Black. I've used this on most of my previous builds. It turns out really good. You can use any reducer you want. I'm using Perfect Coats. It's a German product. Good stuff. This stuff really works well. It gives you that nice OEM finish. I've used it countless times. So if you're gonna do this, I advise you should get something like this. Not sponsored, it's just good old knowledge training out there. So, without much more talking, we're gonna go lay down some paint on this bike and see how it turns out because it, it is minus 5 right now and it's quite cold you should be painting in plus 25 plus 20 at the very least so let's wait this paint and see what happens Alright guys, I have the first coat of paint down. It's looking really good. I'm gonna lay two more coats down, wet on wet, back to back, and let it dry because I have the heater right next to it and see how this baby turns out. guys you just saw me unbox the subframe that arrived this is what it looks like i'm a little bit upset because when i purchased it it was supposed to be 10 out of 10 condition perfect no scratches obviously as you can tell that is not the situation there's a bunch of scratches there was almost no packaging in this it was just in this cardboard uh, thing not secured it was just rattling in there and look at this huge damage this was not in there i'm gonna put up a picture of what it looked like from when i bought it it did not have this damage so i believe he sent me another rear peg instead of what i had purchased i'm going to be contacting the seller and figuring out something about that but since i have the paint gone out and all of this out i might as well just sand it all down give it a nice coat of paint because i do have some leftover paint and get it on the bike it is frustrating sometimes dealing with some sellers purchasing things and then it arrives in a condition that it shouldn't be but that's just the way it goes i'm not gonna let this stop me tonight we're gonna get some paint down on this subframe make it look as good as possible and then slap it on the bike Alright guys, I just laid down the third and final coat for this swing arm and it's looking excellent. There's no flaws whatsoever and I'm liking the way everything is laying down. Very nice, very smooth, good finish. 
super excited about that. The next thing we're gonna do is move on to the subframes that arrive damaged. Try to fix it up as best as possible. Lay a couple coats of paint and see how that turns out. Lots of progress have been made. Both swing arms on the motorcycle is painted. It looks fantastic, no problem. The rear subframe is being painted. Second coat on, it's just drying up for the third coat. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the main frame to receive some paint. I'm gonna tape it all up because that usually takes a while, longer than you actually think. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep that up completely, get it ready for some paint, and then tomorrow, we're gonna throw some paint on the frame. So let's get right to it, and then come back on this and throw the final coat. A few moments later. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a new day. We're back in the garage. We're gonna get some more work done. Yesterday we painted the motorcycle. We did lots of painting. We got a whole lot of work done yesterday. Today I'm gonna show you the result of some of the paint job we completed. Let's look at it. Super excited, we have lots of parts in now. So my goal today is to paint the main frame. Just kind of bring it back to life a little bit on both sides and then get on to something more exciting. This bad boy is the Oxford heated grips. I've been waiting for this for a little bit. Obviously, if you watched the previous video, you would have seen that I tried to install the cheaper ones. That didn't work out so good, so I decided to spend that extra couple hundred dollars. Oh. Spend the extra dollars and get the proper one. Uh, so I hope this does work good. I mean, better because it costs like five times more than the other one did. And uh, so it better work five times better. That's all I gotta say because she was a prizey son of a gun. But without much more talking, we're gonna turn on the bike and see how she does.
the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and install the front brake reservoir that did get delivered. So I'm going to throw that on real quick and we'll see what else I can put on. the oxford heated grips on super super quality i gotta tell you guys 10 times 100 times better than the cheap chinese stuff i tried throwing on that's good I installed the RAM phone mounts just because since I'm in here it is installed really good and then we're gonna move on to something else Okay guys, I've heated the frame and I'm gonna lay down some paint real quick. Yeah. 
what's up guys it's a new day in the garage well for me it is for you it's probably just a couple seconds or a couple minutes but now the bike's been painted i'm going to show you what it looks like i've let it sit out here for a little bit with the heater just alternating around it trying to keep the, all, the, all the panels nice and warm so the paints can cure properly luckily everything is looking really good let me show you to you guys as you can see she's looking good like everything turned out super nice no concerns it's not a perfect paint job obviously but it is really really good i'm very happy with the way it turned out zero concerns overall it is crazy to think that this was painted in minus 30 degree welding and everything turned out as good as it did but it was an experiment i wasn't sure if it was gonna work out and it did i have no concerns everything is really good super happy with, with the way it turned out so i'm gonna go ahead and remove all the paper and plastic and tape and whatnot and give you guys a view of what it looks like Alright guys, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the build so far. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.